built this entire board on board fence myself. Goes all the way around back here. It's not completely done. I still have to uh, cut off all the top of the posts at the um, at the top two by fours, but got all this done up to here. So I'm going to show you how I how I've done it. So I had set these posts earlier. Um, I just dug about two feet, then put the posts in, made sure they were level, used a 50 bag pound of concrete. Um, these are eight foot posts, and then I have eight foot two by fours in between them. That's what I'm using for the rails. And then I'm using six foot, uh, six inch pickets. I'm gonna try to show you how to do this one-handed here. But I have this little spacer I made just out of uh, two by fours. I'm just hang that here. Put the board up and get it to the same level as the string line. down to the second 2 by 4 here. Make sure the board butts up against it. Okay. Now, for the board that goes in between, Basically all we're doing to get it in the right spot is looking at the triangles. So triangle here and here we want to be even. That's how we know it's in the middle. And then line it up to the string line, screw it in. screw in here and here so there's two on each two by four for each of the outside pickets so all the way down and basically just keep doing that all the way down to the end here I have my last post set uh, with the picket height so that's why I have the string line down there So here's just some more time-lapse uh, footage of me finishing up the fence here. I did make it all the way to the corner. Um, so next steps really are waiting a little bit to stain it. I'm gonna cut the posts flush to the top of the two by fours. Um, also need to finish bringing the fence up to the house and also making some gates. So those will be some future videos I'm working on. So thanks for watching this one. Um, I'm Sierra DeVito and I'm a maker. Please subscribe. Thanks.